at Parade Home number 13, the retreats at Sand Hollow. This home was built by Richardson Brothers. This home offers 5,254 square feet of total living space, four bedrooms, four full bathrooms, and two half bathrooms. This home is one level with a four car garage, and this home is priced at $2,400,000. It's already price, sold, actually. It's already sold, but the price without the lot is $1,800,000. Let's go you can photo bomb us. <laughs> hey, nice. No, you're good. good. All right, let's go. Look at these garage doors. They're so cool. So let's, before we go in, let's talk a little bit about the community. So we're we out, are. We're like right by the the Lynx golf course at Sand Hollow. And so we're at the retreat. Yeah, the retreats and the Sand Hollow Reservoir is two minutes away. So what? Uh, what, what types of activities do people do around here? We are surrounded by a huge lake, golf, the sand dunes, beautiful weather. It's currently 50 degrees, 52 degrees, and you sunny. Can play 18 holes, just rip it up on a dirt bike, go play in the water. And their clubhouse, their food there is amazing. That's so you're restaurant. two minutes away from that restaurant, yeah. Well. Should we go check it out? Yeah, let's go check it out. This is where we start. Do we start here or? Yep, start here. So this okay. is the casita. I'm good, thank you. So we're entering this property through the casita. This is huge. Those cabinets. This is probably the nicest casita ever. That is casita is like a house. Wow, so cute. Got a baby blue cabinetry, kind of the distressed look. Do you expect that in this house? No, not at all. This is like the ultimate casita. I can't wait to see the rest of it. This dishwasher has got the cabinets on it. It's a panel dishwasher. Yeah. And look at the, the hood range. Beautiful. I'm a big fan of this, of this light fixture. Look at that bamboo school, overhang. The old school microwave. So cute. These counters are cool too. Yeah. Wow, I'm super impressed. Let's let's check out the family room part of it. It's got its own little living room. This is like essentially a one bedroom, yeah. one bedroom apartment. Look at my own. You've got your own access to this whole part. It doesn't connect to the rest of the house. Closet, stackable washer and dryer. Seems like there's a trend with having a laundry set inside of um, inside of an ensuite. This parade, huh? I'm loving these cats. And look at them. so cute. They feel like a properly distressed pair of denim. And the tile in the shower kind of matches the whole theme. I can't wait to see the rest of the home. Let's go check it out. Got a water fountain out here in the courtyard. Love that. Oh man, you're right on the course. Look at this door. Wow. Take a moment to appreciate this door. Normally we get rushed through the door, but look in comparison to Michon, how massive this thing is. I'm 5'5", five five. this door is massive. And I would imagine when, when the light hits it just right, that entire massive door handle just lights up. Check out the entry light. Wow, I've never seen a light like that. That's incredible. Wow. Okay, let's go check out the view. 
Look at the lighting on the sides of the TV. This huge fireplace. Wow. Very large, like this is one of the biggest open floor plans that I've seen. These, these floors, they feel really grippy too, huh? Like, look at, you're on the golf course. Just let's, let's sit and appreciate this view for a minute. Beautiful. Do you want to go out of there? Let's pop out of there and we'll come right back into the house. Also, this is one of the biggest sliding glass doors I have ever seen. That is very, very, it very It is a one, two, do. it's a four, four slider panel. So it's got four tracks, huh? Yeah. Wow, this is so beautiful. That's awesome. Okay, let's check out that outdoor shower. This is awesome. How many people would dare to do this without the bathing suit? No, no. <laughs> no, definitely not. I mean, it's private. Not from your neighbors. Who wants to be that creepy neighbor? That is the coolest outdoor shower that I have seen. Me too. Oh, and we've got an outdoor bathroom over here. Yeah. Oh, I was, there's a shower right there too. I was confused. This that, is also totally okay, private. Okay, that's to another bedroom. This is not connected. This is this just is a half shower room. with a view. Yeah. So this is your outdoor powder, which is incredible to have just outside of the pool. And look how large this covered patio is. This is one of the biggest patios. It's some beautiful green and red rocks in the background. The pops of red, the blue sky, the green grass. It's a very stimulating picture. You got the blue water, the blue red sky, sand. red rocks, some desert shrubbery, and the green of the golf course. And we have a little with a potting green. Oh, look at this outdoor kitchen. That's I'm amazing. a huge sucker for outdoor kitchen. So there's a, an entertainment deck up above it. Got a surfboard bar table. Got your outdoor grill. It's a really sweet touch. That's so cool. Imagine just grilling out. Why we're out here, do you want to go check out the We're going to have some steaks out here, watching people play golf. Let's keep the views going. Come here. Oh, yep. Okay, no worries. We actually cannot go up there. What? We cannot go up there. You cannot go up there? No. Oh, I think you can access it from... Um... Just go up the wall there. No worries. Okay. Oh, look at this. Going down. Got a pool table in here. Wow. So we've got a pool table in this, this kitchen. That TV's popping up right there. That is an awesome touch. I love that. Yeah, I think that's a... it. Matches the cabinetry in the kitchen. Really Madison cool touch. Island. And then your bar seating area, which I love, is dual purpose. You can sit on both sides. I absolutely this love that color. Yeah, this is very functional. Is it a leather finish? Kind of a leathery matte finish. What do these do again? Is this this so the, the outlets that pop up, right? Yeah. Yeah, it pops up right there. That one popped up. Michonne. Oh, yeah. Is it just a little charging puck? It, it, yeah. I think it comes up a little higher yeah. and it has an outlet in it. Yeah. Look at the views from the kitchen. Look at the, the range. So you've got a combination of an induction stove 
and gas here. I've never seen that. That is a really cool touch. Look at the hood range all the way up. That's beautiful. The stainless steel. And then if you look at the cabinets right there, that stainless steel accent kind of follows through. A beverage cabinet down below. And you have a side-by-side -side with a matching panel to the left of it, which is oh. the entry to your butler's pantry or chef kitchen. Let's check it out. And the microwave is accessible and hidden. Yeah. That's a great place for a microwave. Everything's hidden. And you can go, you can enter the home from here. Through the pantry? Yeah. We'll see how, um, where the garage is located. This there's could a, be- There's a doormat right there that goes to the garage. So your garage is right there and you can literally restock this beautiful pantry. I don't know why you would want to put anything on these shelves. They look so good. You have no food. I would just be without food looking at my beautiful shelves. <laughs> oh, I didn't even see this. That's I what I was this, telling you about earlier. Look, bar. look at the accents of the stainless steel that totally match like the appliances and everything else. And, and, the, so. and the hardware. Beautiful. Okay, you lead the way. Okay, we'll go do this half the home first, then we'll so go back around. Where does that, oh, that takes us into another bedroom. So we are- Wait a minute, do you, do you look at these um, super cool looking speakers? Is that a speaker? Yeah. So you have a, um, a big cabinet, that big modern red looking cabinet for the Wolfmer. On both sides. And then your tweeters are actually built into this grill that rises above. And it's got these ultra modern geometrical shapes for lights. Oh, can we just appreciate and this coffee table for a second? You don't notice this right away, but look at the angle on the shelf below the fireplace. Everything is kind of angled. Yeah, I love it. It's all asymmetrical, kind of the whole house is. I don't even know what I thought this was when I first walked in, but I did not realize it was a speaker. It's so cool. It matches this house so perfectly. Okay, we'll start at this end and work our way back. Got the kids room, Got the built-in bunk beds. There's one, two, three, four. There's those are four queens and then a full in the middle. Then it has an ensuite as well. Oh my gosh, look at this tile. Floating vanities. It looks like bubbles. That's so cool. Oh my gosh, cute. Look at this tub. <laughs> it is the cutest little tub. Oh my gosh, that's so cool. And you could like just by sitting in it, soak all the way up. And it's cool to have like an entire wet room around it because, you know, Oksana loves to splash with her toys. It's like the perfect kids tub. Yeah. Then you have a mirror and a vanity, toilet. This kids room is super well done, super classy. Got a walk-in closet over here. Usually kids rooms are tough to make classy. They're functional, they're either functional or classy, not both, but this one is both. Look at this. All the art and decor in this home is cool. Excuse me. Yeah, yeah. Have you ever thought about your house pop up? Because those are a part more portable So it looks like this slider also opens all the way through. Get the views from here. Check out this TV. The so TV cool! What a great, hidden. what a great solution to mount the TV yeah. in a space like this. Beautiful. The oversized headboard with the built-in nightstands. Got your own little seating area in this room. I love these 
the decor in this home. It okay, flows perfectly. Okay, so here's that bathroom that we were seeing from the outside. This, this shower has the view on a golf course, huh? Look at the tile. Well, it runs floor to ceiling. You in have here. to ask yourself, either the shower has the view on a golf course, or the golf course has the view on a shower. <laughs> That's little, incredible. Little blinds, so like, oh, yeah. tastefully built in. Well, you know, they have the clap on, clap off glass. That would be a great application where you could frost it so on demand. You can see there's some built-in. So there's built-in blinds. The little sliding ones, which is, I mean, that's. Look at the floor tile. I love it. Beautiful. <laughs> I absolutely love it. Yeah. It is insane. I, that's my, my favorite style. Oh, wow. love that they put that in here. Oh, oh my goodness, look over here. All right, keeps going. So wow. your server room that supplies all the music and surveillance for this home is right beside that stackable. This is the parade theme for this year is you gotta have a stackable in your, every closet. Yeah, you gotta have a stackable in every closet. Has this house, so the kids' room did not yeah, have a stackable. Yeah. They, they did? did? No, they no, didn't. no, no, they did. Excuse us. Yeah, oh, you're <laughs> oh, you're welcome to be. Oh, look at the art in there. Oversized. That is a really closet. good size. This is probably the largest um, water closet that I have seen in a while. Oh, these counters also have that leather finish. Your favorite. I love leather countertops. Excuse us, sorry. So we haven't explored that side of the house yet, huh? Do you remember how many square feet it is? It's huge. Um, huge. It's huge. <laughs> Was it 5,000? Over 5,000? I want to say so. Oh, wow. <gasps> Automatic, they turned on when I walked in. Look at that light fixture. That is a really sweet powder room. I'm blown away by like everything in this house. Oh, here's that hidden room that we were wondering what it was. So this room oh. has the view into the living room or the view onto the golf course. Okay. That's your view. Okay. Oh, and that's the view. Wow. That is so awesome. So cool. Do you know if the master shower it does, not. does not have that? That's but it has that built in. Yeah. Yeah. And they're, they're like nice and hidden, so. And I'll do it again. I'll do it again. There you have it. There you now don't. You know. And there you have it. <laughs> and check out, you've got these blinds, or these windows that open up into the courtyard. You get some fresh air flowing in. Got some built-in speakers over here and some kind of all around in this room. The real question is, is there a washer and dryer? No, nope, no, nope. too, too small. Check out that yeah. Check out this bath. Look at those simple light fixtures hanging. I love all the recessed drains too that we've been seeing in the showers. This is part of the floor. Laundry room. Got a, a second refrigerator oh, here. Got a sink, same cabinetry that flows throughout the home. You know, those brown cabinets work really well in this house. And I love the hardware, like the stainless steel. This hardware looks. The texture is so great. Mm -hmm. 
kind of like a, you could use it as an office slash laundry room. It's huge. So it's a multi-purpose. Make some calls, fold some laundry. Did we see, I think we saw it all. You got your mudroom area, hang up your jackets, kick off your shoes, and then the four car garage. And it's cool because the, the doors in this garage are actually mirrored. So you can't see in from the outside, but you can see out. Yeah. You love those light fixtures? These are my favorite outdoor light fixtures. Like you can't tell now, but at night they just, they just light up. They just reflect off the stucco. Yeah, they just reflect all the way around off the stucco and it looks so cool. So I bet this home looks awesome at night. So let us know, what did, what did you guys think of this home? I personally loved this home. I would rate this home a 10. Richards, Richardson Brothers killed it on this home. The views are absolutely amazing. Sand Hollow is beautiful. It's definitely resort style living out here. What do you think, Nick? What was your, what was your take on this I think home? this home was a 10. Let me see if I could do this in a selfie mode so these guys can still see me, hopefully. Um, personally, I am blown away. I think that this home was done super well. There are so many modern touches in this home. They're intertwined with traditional. And I think that's been kind of a theme of this parade because you have so many clients, maybe modern black and white style is not entirely your style. We have, and I don't want to relate it to the age necessarily, more so taste, where some people like more traditional architecture, more browns, more. Like if you look around the exteriors of these homes, are pretty subtle, pretty like low tones, key, neutral. like a lot of earth tones, a lot of browns. So this home brings that modern combination with the earth tones and more traditional style. And like normally I wouldn't be a huge fan of brown cabinets, right? But, but in this it. home, I they love... just work so well. Yeah, the they look so homes classy. looked awesome in this home. I loved it. Friends, regardless of what your style or budget is, if you're thinking about building or buying in Southern Utah, please do reach out to us. We work with a wide variety of builders, a lot of the builders that we showcase during this parade. And this is typically the peak of what the builders bring to market, but it doesn't mean that you have to commit to a $6 million house to work with us. We help people in all price ranges. So regardless of what your budget is, give us a call, shoot us a text. We would love to run through some options. So this week I've had three of our subscribers, which I consider them my friends, like thank you so much for reaching out and texting me. It's absolutely made my week. We've been able to connect and get to know each other. I've been able to share our food recommendations. They've been going to our food recommendations and loving it. And unfortunately we didn't we didn't we weren't able to meet up on this trip, but at least we're staying in contact and please reach out to me. I'm gonna put my number below, shoot me a text. If you guys, if you're even think, remotely thinking about moving out to this area, we would absolutely love to help you. We help everyone in all price ranges. I'll yeah. leave my number below. Give us, give me a call. Text me.